Hi, I'm Corey Marshall, the voice of Ryo in Shenmue 1 and 2. In Shenmue 1 and 2, unraveling the mysteries of your father's murder as Ryo Hazuki isn't just about interviewing residents and chasing black cars. Do you know anything about that black car? You'll spend plenty of time sparring with your friends and busting up the bad guys, as Ryo Hazuki is one up-and-coming jujitsu master. Shenmue 1 and 2 uses real jujitsu moves taken from the Virtual Fighter engine at the time. You learn new moves as you play the game, such as the Tornado Kick and the Iron Paw. You can level up your moves in Shenmue, and then transfer your save to Shenmue 2 and use your hard-earned abilities. They're sure to come in handy when the bad guys come calling. Shenmue also gave a name to the Quick Time Event, or QTE. You'll need fast reflexes if you want to outdo your opponents on your quest. When it's time to unwind, Shenmue 1 and 2 have no shortage of distractions. The in-game arcade features fully working versions of favorite all-time classics like Hang On and Space Harrier. There's forklift racing, duck racing, or just relax and grab a soft drink. Ah, good. The myriad of things to do in a vast world created almost 20 years ago is what makes Shenmue 1 and 2 the epic saga that defined modern gaming. Hi, I'm Corey Marshall, the voice of Ryo in Shenmue 1 and 2. The Shenmue series not only features an engrossing story and compelling gameplay, but also includes a host of fascinating characters to carry you along this epic saga. The iconic hero, Ryo Hazuki, almost needs no introduction. He looks on defiantly from the cover art and is a mainstay of the Sega brand. Perhaps second only to one other blue hero we could mention. Hmm, I know this. Ryo is 18 years old and studying the martial art of jujitsu at the hand of his father, who is a master. This means you'll be spending time not only working your day job as a teenager in Yokosuka, Japan in 1986, but brushing up on those jujitsu moves for taking down the bad guys. Speaking of bad guys, our main villain is Lan Di. Ryo doesn't know anything about him when he sees him murder his father in cold blood. But as your investigation draws closer, you'll learn a lot more about his involvement in China's criminal underworld and his mysterious connection to Ryo's father. Who is that other face so prominent on the Shenmue cover art? Ryo would certainly like to know, because he keeps seeing her in his dreams. That is Shenhua. And while we don't know much about her, we know her destiny is intertwined with Ryo's, and that one day they will meet. As Ryo delves deeper into his investigation, he'll meet many other characters, both friend and foe, and some were not so sure. Rin is a gang leader who could prove a powerful ally, if not for his strong penchant for betrayal. Along with the main characters, there are hundreds of NPCs that populate the world of Shenmue. Potential love interests, gossipy neighbors, creepy bad guys, and even a kitten. This rich tapestry of characters in a vast world to explore is what makes Shenmue 1 and 2 the epic saga that defined modern gaming. <laughs>